And welcome back to Trash Talk with the New Providence Ecology Park. We are here again with Mistress Tyrone Glinton. Or Ty, I call you Ty. You can't. Could be his boys. Yeah. Off camera, be his boys. Mm -hmm. So now that we learned so much about the, STEM, uh, the FEM STEM workshop and the STEM programs and how impactful it is, can you tell persons who might want to know the opportunities and the career paths that are available through the STEM um, program and initiative? Yeah, so there are many career paths that are available in STEM. When we spoke about the sciences earlier, mm -hmm. you have your um, mechanical, sorry, biomedical engineers. Biomedical. Yeah, so you have the natural sciences as well. You also, let's go on to technology side. We have the programmers, the developers. You have the IT professionals like me, who's like a project manager. You have the network administrators. Then you have the engineers. Well, I you smell his about... jobs. Well, I <laughs> smell his talk... jobs. <laughs> we talk about the environment. <laughs> you got three guys. Environmental engineer, industrial engineer, civil engineer. Then when we talk about maths, most people only think about mathematicians as teachers. Maths and MIT. Yeah, but you have somebody who's an actuarial scientist who can use numbers. You have the data analytics person. So math can be used across the board. And okay. STEM, like I said, is a very broad subject. So you have many career opportunities across the fields of STEM. That's actually very beautiful. Thank you so much. I hope you all heard that and, and start to dive into this, this industry because they need you. Thank you so much to these ladies for coming in and shedding light on the untouched gem that is the STEM industry. To our watching audience, stay tuned to the page to catch another episode of Trash Talk coming soon.